This is a question that involves changing the fractions to having the same numerator. But before I use the method, I'm going to work out showing you a model of representation first. So given that two-fifths of Jane's number of sweets is equal to three-quarter of Peter's number of sweets, I'm going to use that part of the sentence and draw a model to show you what it means. So here we go, Jane and Peter. So two-fifths of Jane. So I'm going to draw two-fifths. Okay, first of all, I just draw two units because that's the most important part. Two units of Jane is equal to three units of Peter's. So remember, bearing in mind, it should be of the same length. So let me use a black color. Okay, because they are saying that it's the same amount. But remember, for Peter, it's cut into three parts because it's three quarters of Peter's. So now, having drawn the amount that's equal, okay, the keyword equal, I am now going to draw the total number of sweets that Jane and Peter have. So Jane, if I have drawn two-fifths, that means there will be three more units. So let me draw three more units. Okay, that's about the same size. And now let's go on to draw Peter. Since Peter has already have three quarter drawn, that means there will be one quarter more of Peter's. Okay, now model drawn. Do you observe anything in the model? You see that this part that I've highlighted in green, they are off the same portion. But every single piece is not cut up equally. So it's very hard to compare. So what do you think I should do now? Since um, Jane has two units and Peter have three, I will cut them into equal parts. Two and three, I can cut them into six and six. So to cut Jane into six parts, I need each unit to have three. And for Peter, to be able to have six parts, I need to cut each unit into two. Now you compare. I have six on the top and six at the bottom. So now it is very, very convenient for me to compare. But as I have cut the model into three for Jane, I should also do the same for the rest of the model. So if you count the total parts, three times five, there will be 15 units in total for Jane. And for Peter, I cut the rest as well into two, I should have eight units in all. So now we are ready to answer the question. What fraction of the total number of sweets is Peter's? Okay, so Peter, he has eight units in all. And I have to find the total, which is eight plus 15. I will get 23. So the fraction to my answer is eight out of 23. That is my answer. Okay, now we shall move on to using the method of same numerator. I'm going to write this out. Two fifth of J is equals to three quarter of Peter. And observe, these two units is supposed to be the same. That's why the equal sign is there. So same thing, I'm going to cut it into equal parts. That's why I will have to change the numerator into a number that's of the same, which is why I will multiply this type by 3. And for Peter, I have to multiply by 2. So my new fraction will be 6 out of 15 of Jane. It's equal to 6 out of 8 of Peter. All right, at this point in time, the most crucial moment to link it to what we have done before. Take a look at the 15. It is the same as the 15 units that we have drawn just now. And take a look at 8. It is also the 8 units that we have drawn just now. So, if you recall, why do we have to change them into the same numerator of 6 and 6? We are trying to make them into equal parts, like we have done just now for our model drawing. That's the reason why we are changing it to the same numerator. And the denominator is the total units that Jane 
and Peter have. Take a look and now you can compare and see the idea when you change them into the same numerator, what does it mean? Okay, so 6, the numerator, is what they have. That's similar. 15 and 8 is the total of what Jane and Peter have. Now, the same thing. You can go on to answer the last part of the question. Fraction of total number of sweets is Peter's number of sweets. So you focus, the answer is 8 here. And then, same thing, you were at 15 plus 8 and you get 23. And that's the answer.